Hi everyone, Shane Armonroe here, and today we're gonna help you make dedicated launchers for your Electronic Arts EA app titles that we installed in part one of this video in the upper right. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and start the Electronic Arts EA app digital locker from Steam. So we're gonna make sure that the EA app is actually running and we're gonna see what games I might have installed in said EA locker. And uh, we're gonna actually make those their own dedicated Steam launcher. Okay, you know, Electronic Arts stuff takes forever, but that's okay. We've got time, you wanna hang out, right? Okay, so let's take a look at what I actually have installed in my library. And it looks like the only thing I have is Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And that's okay. That's fine. We can, we can use that. All right, so let's go ahead and stop the locker, make sure it's completely done. And we are going to go to our buddy Proton Tricks. If you don't have Proton Tricks installed, install it from the Discover Store. I'll also have a link in the upper right. As we see here, the EA app is listed right here. This is the folder under Compat Data that this locker resides in. So we're going to go to Compat Data. If you do not have Compat Data on the left, I recommend you look at my tricks and tips video on Dolphin File Manager. It'll help you out a lot. All right, so inside of Compat Data, there should be a folder named the same as what it says the EA app folder number is, and there it is. So inside of here is the EA app digital locker application. Great, so we're gonna put Compat Data in the other side of the Dolphin File Manager, because we're gonna need that in just a minute. Now let's add a new non-Steam game. We're gonna go and find the launcher or the executable for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now, you have to have a game that's installed externally of the Proton Prefix or none of this matters, right? So I've installed mine inside of this folder here and I'm gonna navigate, turn on all files. I'm gonna navigate to the launcher EXE because this has its own launcher. <laughs> it's actually called the Mass Effect Launcher. So now that we've got it, we need to find it because it's added to our list, but it's kind of messy. And there it is. That other one, by the way, is the actual Steam version. I double dipped. Okay, so we're gonna go to compatibility. We're gonna check compatibility and whatever EA app runs under, in this case, it's Proton Experimental. That's what you need to be using here. Okay, great. This looks pretty good. So we're gonna get the, uh, we're going to get the compat data folder up. As soon as we run it, boom, did you see that in the background? It just created a new Proton prefix for Mass Effect Launcher Edition, but there's no EA, there's no origin, no can do, can't play it that way, right? So here is the actual Proton prefix that it made. Let's copy that number to our clipboard because we're gonna do a little hocus pocus voodoo magic here. Okay, we're gonna grab that, we're gonna copy it to our clipboard, and then we're gonna delete it. There's absolutely nothing in there that we need. There's no risk to deleting that folder, it was just made. We're gonna delete it. Now, we're going to take the actual EA Apps Proton prefix folder, which is that number right there, and we're going to left drag it somewhere, not inside of a folder, but to the right there, and then we're gonna let go and do a link here. That's gonna create a symbolic link to that folder, but it needs to be named what it's expecting, which is that four zero blah, blah, blah. So you see what we did here? We've essentially taken away the Proton prefix created for Mass Effect Launcher.exe, substituted a symbolic link that automatically points over to the EA app. So when we launch this EXE, it should understand that the actual digital locker of EA app is there present and ready to run. If all goes well, this is really it, and this whole thing should be running perfect. Well, we're gonna go ahead and try this over on gaming mode. There's a lot of windows and stuff that pop up. I don't wanna get everybody confused here. But now that we're back here, let's go ahead and open that launch. And we're going to go ahead, let's do this. Let's go into properties, let's rename it. It's no, you know, that's, that's kind of vague. Let's call it the Mass Effect Legendary Edition and we're gonna call it EA. That way we know it came from the EA uh, app. That's gonna help me differentiate from the one I have installed from Steam. <laughs> we're then going to go in and we're gonna change our artwork. Now, what you're seeing here is courtesy of Decky Loader's Steam Grid DB plugin. 
And I like to leave this in here because I want you guys to see just how easy it is to use Decky Loader and that plugin to quickly set the graphics you need to make your game look great. See, only took a few seconds and now it all looks nice and clean. Things are running a little slow over here, it looks like. That's crazy, but there you go. All right, let's go ahead and play it. We're ready to go. And I'm not cutting any of this out. I want you guys to see everything that happens. Okay, so first, it loads the EA app. The EA app digital locker is actually launched through all of its own screens. Madness, I tell you. Madness, I say. And wait for it. <laughs> Finally, the actual app of EA launches. You couldn't really see it. It kind of clipped out there real quick. And now the executable that we actually wanted to run will execute, which is the Legendary Edition Launcher, because everything has to be named Launcher around here. That's why I use the term Digital Locker a lot, because the word Launcher applies to too many things. This is looking pretty good. There we go. And let's go ahead just to make sure everything's cool, and I want to show you one more thing. We're going to launch Mass Effect, and we're going to get to the game, so we're going to pretend that we've actually been playing the game for a little while, and we're actually somewhere important. You want to leave this game cleanly. Exit. Exit the game because when you exit the game, in this case it goes back to the Mass Effect launcher, and you want to exit this correctly too. Because if you don't, and you just close the game through Steam, look what doesn't happen. The EA app does not resume, which is going to handle your cloud syncs. So if you were to ma exit the game out of nowhere, uh, instead of actually exiting it properly, you might lose data. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.